لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك Many people fear giving da'wah because they fear um, the reaction of the person in front of them. I mean, they uh, may see that person as a very tough, strong person, so they're like, oh wait, let me not call this person to Islam, let me search for a weaker person, right? And my uh, perspective on this is that what we should do is, even if the person is strong, muscular and all that, remember that the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, he was alone in his da'wah. When he went to Taif, what happened? He called the people to Islam and they chased him out. Speaking of da'wah, what does da'wah mean? When I say da'wah, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Invite. Okay. Inviting. Good. Let's be more specific. Yes. Explaining um, the fundamentals of Islam. To those who don't know. Explaining the fundamentals of Islam. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah? Clarifying misconceptions that prevent people from understanding Islam. MashaAllah. All right. Bring the the realization of the purpose of creation make them understand why they were created understand their creator their worshiper and their duty towards the creator to worship in the right way to understand how to worship him and follow the guidance of mm -hmm. Muhammad sallallahu yeah good you see the word da'wah itself means invitation and when I say I am given da'wah this means I am inviting you know I am inviting that person I may give you da'wah to my wedding, right? So the invitation here is general. But to be more specific, what we mean from the Islamic perspective is da'wah to non-Muslims, to call the people to Islam. And this is a technique. I mean, it has so many techniques, this approach, and we should make sure that we uphold it. <laughs> إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك